I pulled this one out and I'm gonna crimp onto that. And then put it back in? Yeah. Cool. All right, here we go. All right, so that's the main feed to the battery. Yeah. Battery's hot. Hey, they both work. All cool. right. These are the 22 caliber bullets used in the myth. As replacement fuses, they work. Check this out. Almost like it was made to fit in the fuse holder. Yeah, it actually snugs right in there. Hmm. All right. You know, I don't think it'd be that bad of an idea as long as you didn't get a short. The truck is ready. If the bullet goes off, a high-speed camera will record its path by the microsecond. Time for Buster, our professional crash test dummy, to get behind the wheel. Jamie and Adam will be trying to fire live ammunition here. And taking a hit in the pants from a bullet is one part of the myth they don't want to recreate. Bulletproof shields go up in front of the truck, and a remote switch is wired to the circuit from a safe distance. So, we've got our circuit wired up, that the headlights go on by themselves through the fuse box. We've got our remote activation switch. I think it's time to put the bullet in the fuse box. Have you got one? I have a bullet. All right, here we go. Mm. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right, uh, this is the first test just with how the bullet does. With the lights on. Yeah. This does prove one part of the myth. The headlights are on. A bullet will complete the circuit. They went for 20 miles, which I guess means about 20 minutes. So let me get you an alligator clip. Uh, we've got a stopwatch. When it's quarter after. Yeah. While the truck goes for an imaginary drive, Adam has a very real nap. been a solid 20 minutes. Well, given that nothing's happened, I think we could give it another 10 minutes. Just to be sure? Yeah. OK. Yeah. It's been a long and utterly uneventful trip home for Buster. It's been about 30 minutes. I think we're ready to check it out. You want to disconnect and I'll go read the temperature on our bullet? OK, you ready? Yeah. Hey, Adam, do it from a distance for. Yeah. No, I'm not going to put my eye up to it or anything. So uh, I got a temperature off the bullet of about 113 degrees. Nothing real special there. It gets hotter than that in the summer in a car. And bullets don't often go off that way. OK, so what could set that bullet off? When a fuse blows, there's usually a good reason for it. You know, it just doesn't do it by itself. Uh, it would, my guess would be that it would be a short. So you say we just short right across the bullet from the battery? Yeah, let's bypass the light bulbs and uh, see whether we can get the bullet to go off, if anything works that well. A short circuit is when the electricity coursing through the wires of a circuit is diverted to a shorter path, usually one that allows much more current to flow through it. That's when a fuse would normally give way and stop the dangerously high current. So I'm gonna short across the leads of one of the headlights. We're about to cause a flat short right across the circuit, and that will either heat up the bullet, set off the bullet, or it will fry the wiring. No matter what, never connect red to black. All right, well, this ought to work. Be a short, I'm pretty sure. Ready? Ready when you are. Should start, yeah, there's the smoke. Cool. Bit. Yeah, wiring fried. That's a bonafide short. Obviously, you didn't get the bullet hot enough. There it is. Let's see. Oh, look at that. That's yummy looking. The next step that I see is to take the heaviest gauge wire that we'd find in a car and run this short again and see if that gets the bullet hot enough. The heavier wire will carry more heat to the fuse box. But will the bullet get hot enough to fire before the wire fails? OK, ready? Yeah. <laughs> Did we fire off the bullet? We fired off the bullet. Oh, thank God, that's excellent. <laughs> <laughs> I smell gunpowder. You smell gunpowder? I know that smell. Oh, uh, let's see. It went off. Ah, bullet is missing. <laughs> oh, look at that. You're loving this. There's the cartridge. It's almost like the cartridge in the bullet exploded like this, and the cartridge went into the 
like rubber mat of the floor and the bullet seems to have gone that way. We haven't found it yet, but we're gonna do a few more tests, pull the dummy out and take a look at it and see where the bullets went. Jamie, Jamie, can I try it this time? Can I blow the bullet up? Can I, can I? I'd really like to try. Shut up and set the bullet off. <laughs> this is fun. Just like clockwork. Let's do another one. Let's do another one. Okay, give me another one. <laughs> Here, you grab one, I'll grab the other. We'll do like a Wonder Twins one. Okay. <laughs> there we go. All right, ready. I'm impressed with how fast this works. Turns out to be a pretty effective way of setting off a bullet. It's not lethal, I don't think. Well, you know, the thing is, there was nothing in the myth that said <laughs> that he took a lethal hit. I mean, I have to say, if I put a bullet in a fuse box and 20 minutes later I hear a bang and I feel something smack into my groin, I, I'm gonna freak out and like run the car right off the road. Buster has faced the fuse box firing squad 10 times. Let's see if that broadside made a mark. The high-speed camera shows at least one bullet shooting towards Buster's bits. Warped and twisted by the firing, some of the shells also turned into threatening pieces of shrapnel. <laughs> I laugh every time I do that. Jamie takes a closer look and makes a startling discovery. Ooh, look at that. That wasn't there before. See that? One of those bullets, at least, shot a hole in his pants. And there's actually a, there's another bullet hole down here and here. While those pants are full of holes, Jamie can't find any signs of damage on the dummy's legs or torso. I don't think that those bullets had enough force to really do anything. I bet if they were a real person, you'd probably have some pretty nasty little bruises. That's about it. Well, we set off quite a few bullets. It worked. Oh, no, that was a lot of fun. I had no idea that it would go off so easily. Yeah, but we did have to short circuit it. We had to use heavier than the normal wire that was installed in the truck. We had to line up the fuse box in exactly the right position. It, no, it's obvious that an extraordinary sequence of events would have to occur for this to happen. But given how easily they went off with heavier than average wiring and the decrepit state of some people's pickup trucks, I still think it's possible that this could happen. I agree, it's possible. Unlikely, but possible. I'd say myth busted for now, but still out there waiting to happen. <laughs>